Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nassine. I don't normally start my videos looking this way. Today is Friday. I'm sick. I ate all the things yesterday. All the things. I had my steak, I had the Brussels sprouts, I had more Brussels sprouts, I had a built bar, I had, uh, what else I have? I had a bite of pizza, I had the cheese and the pepperoni off of some pizza. I had, I had a yogurt and I had Lolly's granola. Now, why did I do that? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm mad at myself. But about 30 minutes after eating the two good yogurt, which I'm not saying it's the yogurt's fault, obviously it's a mixture, so many things, I felt horrible. So sick, so extremely sick. I could not stay out of the bathroom. It was horrible, it was so bad. My stomach was in knots, I was hurting. Um, I went to sleep very early. I woke up very nauseated. Um, I did check the label on the yogurt. It was expired. I feel like it was a mixture of all the different things that I ate. All the Brussels sprouts. I couldn't even tell you how many Brussels sprouts I ate. I don't know why I did that. But, I don't know. I called in today. I didn't want to chance it. You know that saying, never trust a fart on keto. <sighs> Sorry for TMI. Um home today. I'm very frustrated with myself for being home, but guys, felt so horrible. I've had one cup of coffee today. I had five eggs. I just was craving the eggs and I just ate five eggs, one slice of ham, and one piece of sola bread. I'm cooking right now, but not for not anything to eat. I had leftover chicken thighs in the refrigerator from when I made chicken soup last Friday, so I am going to make chicken soup with those. And um, I'm very content right now. I don't see myself eating anything else until dinner time later tonight. So I wanted to keep myself nice and full, and the eggs always do that for me. And I'm gonna have another cup of coffee here, and I'm just gonna relax, rest. I got a lot of sleep today and I will update you guys later. I don't know what's going on with me, why I decided to do that yesterday. I just, it was unstoppable. I was having a great day and all of a sudden I just went into binge mode. I wanted everything. And I'm so, so mad at myself for it. But I'm moving on. So I'll see you guys later. A lot of people keep asking me how I make the chicken noodle soup, so I guess I can include that in here. I took my chicken thighs, I seasoned them with salt, pepper, and, and some salt-free Italian from Fresh Jacks. I let them brown in the Instapot on saute. Oh, I put a little bit of avocado oil in there, and I just let them brown so they got brown on both sides. This is technically still on saute mode. I cut up some carrots. Then I cut up some celery, and then I had some radish, and I just I just used whatever I had left in my refrigerator. Look, at, I was so lazy, I didn't even cut off the stems of my radish. I don't even care right now. So I just cut up, chopped up everything that I had left in my refrigerator that would go well in a soup, and I have that all layered in. Then I'm gonna add some more salt-free Italian and some of this Herbs de Provence. These are both from Fresh Jacks. You don't have to use Fresh Jacks, but if you do want to, I have a link in the description box that will save you 15% on your purchase. So I have this, right? So what I use is this chicken broth-based seasoning. This is three carbs. You don't have to use this. You can use your own like chicken broth or your own bone broth or whatever, but I have this and this is what I'm going to use. So it says... Uh, two dry teaspoons makes about a cup of broth. So I'm just going to measure that out and I'm going to make sure that I have enough broth in here and I'll show you what in a minute. Alright, so I added in about 6 to 10 cups of cold water and then I just did my teaspoons according. 
and then I added in my seasonings. I'm going to mix this up, put the lid on, and I'm going to put it on the soup option. And I think it's going to go for about 30 minutes. See you when it's done. So here's the soup. Looks pretty good. I'm not hungry, so I'm going to just try like a tiny little bite. Make sure it doesn't need any more broth seasoning. If it does, then I'll add that in. But I like the big chunks of carrots and stuff because then I know how much carrot I'm getting. And look at the radish. Beautiful and white. And it has soaked up all the chicken and broth flavors. And the chicken is just falling apart. Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And if you want this to be more like a creamier, fattier soup, add some heavy whipping cream into this. And then the consistency of it will change to a thicker, creamier, but just as yummy soup. Enjoy. So I just made myself a little cup of soup mostly broth and then this is my second cup of coffee again I put another scoop of the vanilla oil powder and collagen it's one carb per scoop I really like this stuff and then I put a teaspoon of swerve and I'm going to go watch American Horror Story and enjoy this nice combo <laughs> To the PO box today this I had enough points to buy this shirt from bones coffee that I bought the Franken bones coffee shirt I absolutely love it it's so freaking cool and then Reese got a package from Kathy Kathy Reese is gonna be so excited when he comes home from school because this is one of the books that Reese is wanting they we could not find it at the library and she bought it for him thank you so much kathy he's gonna be so excited he's going to love this i can't wait till he gets home from school today to see this because he's definitely gonna be excited this is a series of books and he's read some at school and we've got some from the library but they were missing one of the books from the library it was um rented out I guess checked out I don't know what you even call it but yeah he's gonna be so happy so excited thank you so much Kathy welcome home Reese <laughs> you have a you had a gift arrive for you today Whoa. <laughs> I opened it because I didn't know what it was but I have it right here are you happy is that the book that you wanted? I feel like crying right now. Are you happy, buddy? <laughs> Somebody sent that for you. Where? Kathy sent that for you. Can you say thank you, Kathy? Thank you. <laughs> Kathy. Usually because of my bike, so. Any? Hey guys. Chance I get. I'm going to Sally Beauty because my nails have been naked forever. And I got um, about $20 from Built Bar from some sales of you guys buying stuff. So I'm going to use that and get an orange, like some fall colors. 
I really like Aaron's nails and they make me want my nails done. So I'm on my way. <sighs> so I got my nail stuff and then we went to Walmart and I got some stuff to make the pumpkin oh. pie, um, cake pie things that Simply Misty made. They look really good. So Tiffany and I want to make them. Um, I had everything I needed for them except for the sticks and I did need some more pier for my coffees and stuff so but I have everything else so I actually went to the store looking like this <laughs> I looked worse and then I was gonna get that hairbrush that um that hairbrush dryer that Aaron has but even with the discount it's kind of just too much I still have to get like groceries and stuff for the week so um, I decided against it and then Tiffany was begging me for to dye her hair. And I'm like, uh, no, I don't have the money for that. <laughs> so um, we're gonna have that. And I already made dinner today, so that soup, I'm not hungry. I might have a nice cup of coffee or something. I did get a bang. I don't think I need it. I'm not tired at all. I got a lot of sleep today, so. Um, headed home now, I guess, and if I make those cake pops tonight, I'll show you. Dinner is soup. There we go. Beautiful. So I just have this in my mug and I'm, it's delicious. And I'm gonna have some pork rinds. And then I got these color dips. I've never done a dip before on my nails. So I picked up this dip kit yeah, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna watch some videos and try to learn how to do that. I clean my desk off. But um, Shane and Jeffrey's video just came out, so that's what I'm gonna do. Look at this shirt I'm wearing. My name is spelled wrong, but somebody made this for me a long time ago, like when I first started my channel. Another YouTuber, actually the same one who made uh, me this cup. Amy's life journey. But isn't this little avocado so cute? So this is this isn't merch, but it's kind of like it's my brand. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch this and I'm just gonna relax for the night. I'm starting to feel a little bit better, so that's good. I asked my boss if I could work on Saturday if they worked, and he said that there was nobody working, so that stinks. So I will see you guys tomorrow.